What's up, everybody? Um, we just finished up with Mustang Week. Uh, we were invited to come volunteer. So some of my guys and myself were over out last week, uh, hanging out with them and, uh, and helping them out in their merch, in their merch booth. And, and I gotta say, you know, going as a spectator and working the event is completely two different things. And uh, we're gonna do a whole nother video on that once the guys free up. Uh, sometime in the next week or so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about mustang week itself um, we had a great time um, met some fantastic people over the week so we're looking forward to seeing them hopefully again next year so that brings me into the subject in hand which is clean exhibition myrtle beach which is november 2nd and november 3rd if you guys um, are local and have been paying attention to the news and the media social media you know that the Pelicans have lost their contract with the stadium itself. Um, what does that mean? That means that the baseball team itself will no longer be at the Pelican Stadium and most likely um, the stadium will stay vacant for a while. So what helps the stadium? Well, what's gonna help the stadium is events like mine um, that are gonna help bring in revenue to keep the stadium afloat until they figure out what they're going to do. Now, if it doesn't fall through, then what happens? Um, well, that means maybe a developer will come in or the city comes in or they tear it down and they turn it into a flat lot, kind of like they did with the Myrtle Beach Speedway. And if you're a local here, you know how hard that was to witness and view especially for us that have been here 10 plus years and that was our go-to where we went for Nelby, we went for Myrtle Beach Drift, we went for um, any monster truck event that came and we lost that venue to anything and everything that was automotive or motorsports. Um, unfortunately here at Myrtle Beach, it, it has happened in the last five to seven years where the city hasn't allowed um, anybody that they haven't grandfathered in to come in and renew permits or renew contracts. So it kind of leaves us out in the dark. That's why Mustang Week went to Myrtle's Inlet and North Myrtle Beach. Bike Week does the same thing, so on and so forth. So where does that leave clean? Well, it could be the last clean at the Pelican Stadium. It could happen. Um, so I need your help. I need this to be the biggest Myrtle Beach clean weekend ever. Um, not just for me, but for the city and the town and everybody who, who loves the stadium. Um, the revenue that comes in through clean goes through the ticketing system of the Pelicans. That will help them generate revenue for whatever it is that they need for the stadium. So you're not just helping us, you're not helping clean, you're helping the Pelican Stadium. They've been our home for four years. They are fantastic. The staff there is great. You, For those of you who have come down for the event for four years or any of those years, know that it's just a really chill vibe and it's really good. Across from Broadway at the beach. So, you know, it's something that, unfortunately, we don't wanna say that that's gonna happen, but we do have to prepare for the future. So I wanna go ahead and take measures now. Um, if you're a local business, you know how, how much this means to, to us. And of course, you as a business, especially if you're an automotive business, you know that that hinders your business as well. So I invite you to join us as well. Um, send me a message, let's see how we can work together. Let's keep motorsports alive here at the beach. Um, not just for myself for clean, but for every other group that's based out of Myrtle Beach who runs anything automotive. You know, we, we need this, the, the beach needs it. Um, again, it's it's kind of hard to, kind of hard, hard pill to swallow just because again, we've, we've seen this happen before. Um, we still, we do still have the uh, North Myrtle Beach racetrack that's open and we're grateful for that as well. That has also been a great thing for our, our local race guys that they now have a place that they can go and they can race. Um, but for what I do, it's it's not the same. Um, I don't know if we can fit as many 
participants and spectators and vendors and food trucks, everything in that area. So as we're planning ahead, um, we're going to be looking at what's going to work for clean for Myrtle Beach, because obviously I live here. This is my home. It's been my home now for 12 plus years. Um, for those of you who know me and have helped me grow clean, um, it, it is very important to us to, to be able to keep this here and not move it out of town. So I invite you guys to come and help us out and see what we can do to generate revenue for the Pelicans. Bring your family, you know, come to the event, buy a ticket, buy a hot dog, buy a hamburger, nachos, buy some beer. All that money that comes in is going to help the Pelicans and in, in, in being able to, uh, to obtain revenue um, until they can figure out what they're going to do um, for the following year with their contract. So it, it's a tough one. Um, and we wouldn't expect it. Uh, there was rumors. Um, and now that we're seeing it happen, I, I've had several people approach me because they know the event is coming up and they want to know what's going on. So I myself don't know anything of it. I am going based on what I hear and see on social media. And I'm just putting it out there to you guys. Um, please register. Registration is up. CleanExhibition.com is the same thing it's always been. Um, this year we're doing things a little bit differently on how we are accepting our vehicles. Um, as you know, uh, last year we were at the Hangout, and uh, this year we're going to do the same thing. So a select group of vehicles that we choose are going to be able to participate at the Pelicans on Saturday and on the Hangout on Sunday. Um, we still haven't chosen our location for our premium yet, um, which will be Friday. Um, but as soon as we have that, you know, we'll throw another video up and, and we'll give you guys the details. And of course, we'll have it on our website and on Facebook and Instagram on where we're going to do our pre-meet. Um, Thursday, because, you know, we try to do a whole weekend. Thursday will be the meet and greet here at the shop, just like we did last year. So we'll get a couple people together. We'll have one of our food vendors come out. It'll be just a laid back, chill, come and meet your fellow enthusiasts, network, you know, shake hands, kiss babies, like I like to say. Um, so that'll be Thursday. So a whole weekend plan around clean for us enthusiasts. And um, this is not just an import event or a tuner event or a, a muscle event or, you know, a, a one genre event. No, this is for everybody. We love all types of builds as long as it's clean. So, you know, based on your registration, you'll, you'll know if you're accepted. But, you know, if you have a classic car come out, you have a rat rod come out, you have a lifted truck, mini trucks. Um, we have a great group of guys here from the beach that all have mini trucks or, or big you know, uh, what I like to say, the big doolies, like Big Bertha, you know, those guys are fantastic, been supporting us for years, and they're going to be coming out this year again. We got a group down from Florida that's going to be coming up, just like they did last year. So, again, space is limited. Um, you know, once we hit that 150, 160 mark, we know we close registration. Um, so, of course, we try to select as, as many as the best as we can. Um, you know, we do have some wiggle room there. But um, overall, you know, I want to make this the biggest clean possible. Um, being that this is the last event for the season for us, we really didn't do much this year. We kind of sat back and just wanted to regroup on how we did everything and where the industry was going and what was happening and how we were going to work next year and who we were going to work with next year. So all that will be uh, discussed later on in, in another podcast. But, um, you know, Myrtle Beach is the main goal. Uh, that's literally... Two months away i want to say so looking forward to seeing you guys at clean uh, myrtle um if you haven't registered yet you're in oaklandexplix.com and of course at the end of the month we have our cars and brews which is a great 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 event very laid back very chill it's at the cabarrus brewing company um come have some drinks with us registration is only 25 bucks super cheap so same thing you can register online but um looking forward to seeing you guys and um when you see this video Share it, talk to your people, invite your people, come chill, hang out with us, park in the stadium, come have a couple beers, have some fun, do the hot dog eating contest with us. You know, we do that every year um, and, and just have a great time. And like I said, I don't know where this is going. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next year, but I'm going to focus on what I can do this year. So again, my locals, you already know what to do. I expect, you, I expect seeing you there. If you have a business, you want to get with me, we can talk some stuff on how to promote the business and, and help us help the stadium itself. And um, we'll see you guys in November, man. Much love.